Hello everyone, and welcome back to Disneyland. <laughs> I've got Sheriff Woody with me today, and we're going to play through the final area of the park, which is Frontierland. This area is a little different than what I showed in my original Disneyland video nearly three years ago. I changed about a third of it to accommodate a larger area to the north, and so that I could connect it up with Fantasyland and Adventureland and add a new area to explore, and I've added a lot of additional details, so let's go check it out. Okay, here we are in Frontierland. My goal today is to just play through this toy box and give you a tour of it. Before I start, though, um, I want to point out that this is not quite the same as what you would currently find at Disneyland in California. Over the years, Disney has taken away space from this area to do other things, most recently to build Galaxy's Edge. And of course, I understand why they've done that, because Western movies and TV shows just don't appeal to people like they once did, and so they change it to fit current trends, but I personally miss the old frontier land, which was all about making you feel like you were in the Old West. And um, so my design for frontier land is based on what it used to be back uh, when it first opened. And I've gone back to old vintage photos from the 1960s and the 1970s, and I've done my best to recreate the original frontier land while still keeping some of the modern attractions. And the resulting toy box contains all of my favorite things about Frontierland. So as we enter Frontierland, over on the right, we come to the Frontierland Shooting Gallery. And those of you who saw my original video a few years ago will probably notice that some things have changed here. Instead of moving up and down, the targets move back and forth, which is a little bit better. And I've got Woody's Roundup Critters down that way, but... Other than that, the game is still the same. You have to hit the targets 10 times to earn a random prize. And uh, I'm actually doing pretty good with the balls. <laughs> Normally, I don't do well with these balls at all. So I think I'm going to put Stitch's blaster down on the Disney Infinity base. That'll be a little bit easier to use, I think. I can rack these up a little bit quicker. And we're already halfway there. But this is a fun little attraction. And uh, the fact that you earn a prize at the end for doing it makes it worth doing. I always like shooting galleries anyway. They're kind of fun. At Disneyland, though, you have to pay extra to do it. And here you don't. <laughs> so that's really good. There we go. And ooh, we get the crow pack this time. Nice. That means we can fly around the toy box. That'll be great. Let me take the blaster off the base because we don't need that anymore. All right, directly across from the shooting gallery, we have the livery stable. And this is inspired by the Rainbow Ridge Pack Mules ride, which was one of the rides that was first opened when Disneyland opened. And the idea was is you could rent a mule and ride around some of the trails that they had in Frontierland. And uh, so I've done that here. You can pick your horse and ride him around. And that helps you cover this huge toy box a little bit quicker. Over here we have the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which had to have this because it's a set piece that they provide. And it's also fun to ride. Here we go. <clears throat> I typically don't do really well with roller coasters, but I like this one. I can handle this one. And of course, it's the toy box, so you can ride it around as much as you want. You don't have to worry about uh, lines. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about the toy box version of Disneyland. No lines. All right, so up this way, yeah, let's do this area first. So up here is the new area that I have added to the north of Frontierland. 
And originally in Frontierland, you had some areas out here, the Painted Desert and some other places where you could ride and you could go sightseeing. And that's what we have here. And up in this corner, we have the entrance to Fantasyland. So if you go through here, you'll end up over by Rapunzel's Tower. And I'm not going to do that. I'll cancel out of that. But that's how you can get directly to Fantasyland without going through the hub. And then there's some canyons down over this way with some rope bridges, some branching paths, places to climb. So that's a lot of fun. There's a train station down that way too. And I'll take a look at that a little bit later from the ear. All right, over here is the Mark Twain Riverboat. And if you don't want to wait for that to come around, you can hit the button and that'll bring the boat back here immediately so you can ride it. When it comes by, you can just hop on. And I know that doesn't look like a river boat with the paddle wheel and everything, but um, we don't have one in the toy box. And I tried to build one out of blocks, but <laughs> it just looked hideous. So I decided to use the uh, ice boat instead. I could add a little smoke coming out of the smokestack, and that looks pretty good. They also had a pirate ship that would go around, or at least a ship with sails. And I tried to use the pirate ship from the toy box, but it takes up a lot of memory, and it's really huge. Trying to fit through this narrow channel just um, <laughs> wasn't going to work real well. Plus, you could hear the creaking of the mast and sails no matter where you were in the toy box and that was kind of annoying so didn't do that and then down this way are some restaurants and shops of course Tom Sawyer Island across the way the entrance to Adventureland is over here so we could go through this way and go to Adventureland. That connects up by Tarzan's Treehouse, but I'm not going to do that. And this is the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. We'll look at that in a future episode. Tom Sawyer Island over there. We'll get there in a minute. New Orleans Square back here with some more little restaurants, some shops back here. Not a lot to do back there, but it's kind of fun to go look around. Tom Sawyer Island again out that way. And the Haunted Mansion is over here. And you can actually go inside the Haunted Mansion, but again, we'll do that in a future episode. I want to stay in this toy box since this is what we're going to be building. And those of you who remember the original Disneyland video from a few years ago might remember that the boats to get over to Tom Sawyer Island. I originally had them out there, which is not where they belonged. And I've moved them now over here. So this is a little bit more like where it's supposed to be in the original Disneyland. So you can hop on the boat and ride it across. Of course, look at the scenery along the way. There's Splash Mountain. We'll get over there in a little bit. You can ride this around to Tom Sawyer Island. This is one of my favorite places to go in Disneyland. I love Tom Sawyer Island. So many places to go, climb around and see and things to do. It's just a fun little place to explore. Um, we'll head on up here and then we'll go on up to Tom's treehouse. And that is right up here. Oops. And from up here, you can get a really good view of the toy box. So there's the entrance with the Frontier Town down that way, Thunder Mountain Railroad, the new area with the Painted Desert and the canyons and trails. 
the railway station out there, Indian Village, of course the rest of Tom Sawyer Island spread out below us there. And then over this way, you can see New Orleans Square and Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion and all of that. So you get a really nice view of the toy box from up here. And I really like that. And of course, unlike the real Disneyland, you can climb around on the trees and Just a fun little place to explore. I really like it. We got the rope bridge over here. We got Injun Joe's cave over here. Currently in Disneyland, they've rethemed this to be a Pirates of the Caribbean themed cave, which is kind of interesting because they've got the ride across the way there. So I don't know why they had to do that, but I guess some. They're trying to be politically correct. <laughs> Injun Joe isn't uh, politically correct anymore. Um, but anyway, this is Castle Rock here. You can climb around on this. This is the original, what it looked like, um, is what it's modeled after, before they added the uh, pirate fort. And then Fort Wilderness over here. And of course you can climb around on this as well. And I really like, uh, oops. I really like this fort. The whole toy box has a really great vibe. Um, if you want to do a little death match or go hunting your uh, friend as player two, this is a great place to do that. A lot of places to hide and play hide and seek. So really good. A lot of neat looking areas. And then we can <laughs> use our crowing pack. Before we leave the island, let's just take a quick look at this area to the north here. So Indian Village is over there. The canyons are out over this way. A really good view of the toy box. I'm glad it gave us the crow wing pack. This was cool. <laughs> that was like the best prize I could have gotten for our uh, playthrough video here. But of course it's randomly selected so you can get all kinds of really good stuff at that shooting gallery that you can then take with you and um, use it in all the toy boxes for the park. And when you're ready to leave, you just hop on the boat and push that button, and away you go. Head back over to the mainland. All right, let's go grab our horse. I don't want to get too far from him. And then down this way is Critter Country with Splash Mountain. So we can go ride that. This is another one of those set pieces that if you're going to build Disneyland, you just want to use this. It's a fun little ride. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then you can take the trail. There's a little settler camp over here. And you can go riding on your horse back. I was thinking of doing a horse race back through here, but I just don't have the memory. The memory in this toy box is totally maxed out. We got the Indian camp over here with the totem pole. So that's pretty cool. 
train station over this way. And then you can ride back through the canyons. Rope bridge up there, so you can climb up there and climb on just about everything around here. You head back to the livery here and drop off my horse. And then um, before we wrap up this video, I want to show you what this park looks like at night. <laughs> So let me head on out and switch to the nighttime sky, and then I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, this is Frontierland at night. And there's not a lot of lights down in here with these buildings. But some of them are lit up. That one kind of is. You've got a light over here at the train station next to Thunder Mountain Railroad. But most of the lights are over here. <laughs> and this just looks really, really good. I like how this turned out. So once again, you can play the park at night. And this is what it looks like in Frontierland. Lots of lights all over the place. Tom Sawyer Island's a little bit dark, but that's all right. I don't remember there being a lot of lights over there. I think they close it before dark anyway. So yeah, looks really, really good. I like it. So that's my final version of Frontierland. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit the like button and leave a comment before you go to let me know what you think of it. Next time I'll start showing you how to build this toy box. You won't want to miss that, so be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking my photo in the lower right corner and making sure your notifications are on. That's all for me today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.